Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm making loaded fried potatoes. I have here golden potatoes, Eckerich 4 pepper sausage, one sweet onion, and baby bella mushrooms. Gonna pour some sunflower oil into this skillet. I'm just going to take my knife here, slice up the potatoes. And first I'm going to cut in half like that. Now I'll take both of these halves and cut those in half. Just want pieces about that size right there. See that? Kind of see them there. That's really all you need. Spread them around in the oil. Just keep repeating that over and over. Section it just like this. So that way, when you slice it, Still get these small, easy to fry pieces. See what I'm saying? Now for the mushrooms, I like to take the mushroom, but cut it into slices. Or mushrooms you see on pizza. Like I said, these are baby bellas. You want good slices of mushroom because these these will cook down quite a bit. Now for your onion, you're gonna want to cut the root off. It's not that much. We're gonna take the onion, cut it in half, cut that half in half, just like this. You want to peel that harder outer skin off there. Peel the outer skin. Once you have the dry outer skin off, pair your onions back together. And you want to do the same with these as you did with the mushrooms. You want pretty large chunks because they will cook down. You break them apart. I mean that's that's about the size you want right there. Do the same with this one. You can just break apart the layers, separate them, toss them right in the pan. And for the sausage, we have an easy open right here. Now for this recipe, I'm only going to use one of these. Save the other one for later. that one aside. Now, you're going to want to take this big sausage and you're going to want to cut it into chunks. This Eckrich sausage doesn't shrink much, so once you have your slices of sausage, you just pop them over there in the pan. Spread them out. I like a lot of onion. You don't have to use a whole onion, but I like to. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Now to add the sauces and seasonings. For sauces and seasonings, we have Mrs. Dash Extra Spicy Salt Free. We have the Kingsford All Purpose Seasoning. No salt in that either. Smokehouse Maple. From McCormick Grill Mates. We've got some liquid smoke. This is the mesquite flavor. Some light soy sauce. Some difficult to pronounce sauce. And some sweet baby Ray's hot sauce. There's what they look like. In full. Alright, this is a gas range, so we're just going to, there we go, light it, 
I'm going to put it about medium. Now we're going to start adding things. The sweet baby Ray's hot sauce. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things. We call it Worcestershire where I'm from, here in the Midwest. Here's the soy. This stuff not only will give it a good flavor, but it also give it a good color once it cooks down. It'll get all caramelized in there. Some people say liquid smoke's bad for you. This isn't a health foods channel. So, if you want health foods, go somewhere else. On this channel, I like to cook what I like. We're all going to die someday. Might as well enjoy life while we're here. That was the Smokehouse Maple. This is the Kingsford Original. Finally, the Mrs. Dash. Here it already starting. Just put the lid on let it go. I'll probably come check on in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. Rest that there. Just going to give it a stir. Oh, this smell is so good. I wish you could smell it through the screen right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells good, guys. See how it's cooked down? The mushrooms especially, just like I said. See how small that mushroom is now? That's why you want to have them be big slices. Same with the onions. Sausage shrinks up a little bit too. So, you know, don't don't be afraid when you see the pan just so full of stuff. It, it cooks down quite a bit. Alright. Now we're going to leave it for another 10 or 15 minutes. I like everything a little bit a little bit crispier, so I'm gonna let this cook. Alright, a couple of Metallica songs off load later. Each about five minutes. Ready to stir all over again. So now it's starting to get that, that darker color that I like so much. Get a little crispier on the very bottom. This is how big the flame is, just to let you see it. Right about medium. I'm back to stir it again. I've let it go for about five minutes, maybe four and a half minutes. Oh. There's that, that crispness, that little bit of darkness around some of the edges. I'd say these are done. Yeah, definitely. I'll turn the heat off. Alright, I'm just going to let them cool for about five minutes. And I'll come back and serve them. There it is, all cooled off, ready to serve. Now I like to fold over a couple of paper towels first. Put it on the plate that helps absorb some of the extra oil. And there's what it looks like presented on the plate. Let's eat. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like on this video. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Make sure you get the bell on for all the notifications. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, one more thing. You could sprinkle cheese on top of this. I probably should have got some. Hmm, so good.
Wow. Hey, you reached the end of the video. Now would be a good time to click subscribe. I made this outro special for this. I'll wait patiently until this video is done. Thanks for hitting subscribe. And if you didn't, I guess you'll miss out.